Hello and welcome to a massive decluttering video. I try to declutter my skincare and my makeup twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. I got to my makeup collection. It's a fairly small and minimal collection and I'll leave you a card up here if you love makeup declutters, go check that out. But today I'm gonna to be decluttering my skincare. I did not get to declutter it in the fall and it's really showing. We switched offices, so I have a new space, I have new shelves, and it needs sorting and organizing. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I'm getting rid of, what I'm gonna be keeping, what I'm gonna be donating, and what I'm gonna be giving away. So stay tuned for a massive skincare declutter. Here's the shelving that my husband and I had installed in one of our closets, and I get this half for all my skincare items, and we're gonna be sharing the office and this closet for all our personal office needs. I can't show you the office right now because it's a complete disaster with our exercise equipment, our desks and everything, but I'm at the point where I'm gonna rearrange this closet, get it sorted out, and as you can see, I have a lot to go through in here. Now, down here at the bottom, are items that I'm going to be giving away and donating. So I've already done a bit of a pre-sort, some hair care that I need to review, a nail kit that I'm gonna show you. It's an LED nail kit, all my plugs and things which I need to resort, my empties, and then items that I need to review, then all the things that I'm currently trying. It is a lot, but I need to go through, get rid of the expired products, and also sort out what I'm gonna be giving away, what I'm donating, and what I'm gonna be keeping. You know that if you've seen my other decluttering videos, I love these bright room boxes for storing because you can see everything. They have the ones that are kind of graded, so you can kind of see one thing stacked behind another. So those are my sunscreens. And I also love to label everything. So if you have quite a bit like I do of your beauty products, it's a good idea to start an organizing system. I'm going to start pulling out each of these bins and taking them downstairs to share with you in the living room. I have lots of space in the living room. I'm going to go through everything and we'll figure out how we're going to resort this, what we're going to give away, donate, and what I'm going to keep. Here's everything I'm going to be decluttering today. This is a lot of product. Nobody needs this much skincare, but as a YouTuber, I do get sent a lot of PR. I try to go through it as it comes in and declutter what I think would be relevant to you, but I'm very behind this year, so I'm going to be going through it with you today, trying to read through this, sort through what you'd really like me to review, and also go through products that I'm gonna be giving away. If you see something you like, definitely don't leave me a comment here on YouTube. For privacy reasons, I always do my giveaways through my Instagram page. Just DM me at Cynthia.Sterling underscore over 50, and I'll put that down here, because for your privacy, I don't like to have you put your name and your information on the YouTube comments. And in the DMs and Instagram, it can be private, and I delete it afterwards. So I, if you see something you'd like in the giveaways, definitely just jump on over to my Instagram and I will send it to you. I'm only gonna keep open this giveaway for 24 hours because our life has gotten super busy and super happy. We have a grandchild and I'm gonna be very busy over the next couple weeks. So it's only gonna be open for 24 hours this Sunday through the Monday after this video, exactly 24 hours from eight o'clock Sunday morning to eight o'clock Monday morning and I apologize for that, but that's just the way it has to be just because my life is a little crazy right now. So definitely hop on over to my Instagram and give me your address if you see something that you like. And if you don't, just remember, I always do giveaways in the spring. There'll always, always be something coming up next year or possibly I need to add maybe a giveaway in the fall. It also is only gonna be in continental US. So, and I apologize about that, but the shipping is just outrageous and I just can't afford to do outside the US. So with all that craziness out of the way, let's get through these products. And I'm reaching for this one first because this is the new Dr. Loretta sunscreen. And this actually happens to be a duplicate. I already have one that I'm gonna review for you in my sunscreen video coming up. And this is a duplicate, so that's gonna be going in the giveaway pile. This is the deodorant by Necessaire that I'm gonna be reviewing. It's an acidic deodorant. If you've been watching any of the Instagram or TikToks, Acid for the underarms is the new thing. So I'll let you know if this works out. My Sama sent me their LED massaging tool, and I'm gonna be reviewing that for you. This is another Dr. Loretta product, the Anti-Aging Repair Moisturizer. I have not tried this, so we're gonna give that a try. 
I have a ton of calcium products. That's the hair system that I'm currently using, the six week hair system, but they also sent me a lot of their skincare. So I'm gonna be reviewing that. Now this is a gentle resurfacing liquid. I need to check with my handy dandy magnifier. So I'm gonna put in the, the older skin here that I've kept hold of and probably need to double check the expiry dates. There could be an expiry date stamped on the bottom of the product. If you just look at the bottom, it'll show, tell you the date that it's expired or it will have an open lid jar. And that means once it's open, this is how long it lasts and then toss it. That's especially important with vitamin C. I accidentally kept a vitamin C in my cupboard. I was so excited to use it. I opened it up and it was dark and expired. So vitamin C, vitamin C should nine times out of 10 be clear. Check the website on the color of the original product. Don't use it if it's expired because it's just not gonna do anything for your skin. All right, Glow Maker, this is by Maylove. I did a review on their retinaldehyde serum and their anti-pigmentation serum, which I love. So that's a possible. And then their hydrator, which is just an HA serum. So I'm gonna stock up some of the Maylove and think about that. If you really want an, another review strictly on the brand Maylove, let me know. Stacked Skincare has their multifacial peel. This is a lovely TCA peel. It's a little strong for me right now. My skin is feeling a little sensitive. I'm not sure I'm going to get to this. I have a bunch of Joanna Vargas items. There are about three in here. So I'm going to be doing a little Joanna Vargas review. There's more calcium products that I want to check out for you. Now this is the Inculus, the Omega water cream. I know for my mature skin, this is not going to be hydrating enough or occlusive enough for me to get enough use out of this product. So I'm going to be putting that in the giveaways. This is a product I've been very interested to try. This is the Kim Chris, and this is their slow beauty philosophy is their philosophy. And this is one of their creams, their night creams that I'm going to try. Do skincare. This is actually a duplicate. So I'm going to be putting that in the giveaways. I have several tubes of this and I want to share it with you because it's one of my favorites of 2022. Next up is a new um, company to me called Experiment. So I'm going to go through a couple of their products and decide probably later whether I'm going to do a review on their products. This is the Maylove Moonlight Retinal Retinaldehyde Serum. This is an extra bottle, so I'm going to be putting that in the giveaways. Clean Skin Club, you know those cloths that I love, came out with some dermal patches, and I'd actually like to try these. Every once in a while, I get these really sore kind of cyst-like acne breakout. So I'm definitely interested in trying these because I have not tried these. This is the Good Genes Lactic Treatment. This is the one from the UK. Ours here in the US has the, I mean, sorry, this is their glycolic, the Good Genes Glycolic, which is sold overseas. And I wanted to try this. So I'm trying their glycolic resurfacing serum. I have some flash mask that's from the Pillow Talk Derm. I'm definitely interested in using that. It's a brightener, brightening mask and use a couple times a week. And that's a refill for me. This is the May Love Push Cream, so that will go in the May Love pile. Some more May Love products, the Enriched Retinol. I probably will not be using the Stargaze because I already have tons of different retinols, the one I just reviewed by Dermatology, and I typically try to use a retinaldehyde or my prescription tretinoin. So I'm gonna be giving putting this in the giveaways. If you are a beginner retinoid user, you might wanna try the Stargaze. So I'm gonna be putting that over in the giveaways. This is another Peace Out product. This is a retinol stick for the under eye area. I am kind of curious to use this because I try not to bring my tretinoin all the way up to the under eye area. And this is especially designed for that area. So I'm going to be trying that out. This is the Super Smoothing Resurfacing Serum by Maylove. I'll give that a look over. Another Joanna Vargas product. This is their daily serum. So we'll put that in the Joanna's Bar Joanna Vargas review. Where did she go? She's over here. All right, I also have a ton of Tatcha to review for you, so I'll be sorting that through that. And apologies, I have not gotten to the Dermablend review that I promised you guys last, I think it was last fall, I can't even remember. I'm so sorry. I will definitely do that. I also have a couple of the um, Mad About Skin products. They're exfoliating gel, which I'm gonna be putting in the giveaways, the Mad About Skin exfoliating gel serum because I have tons of exfoliating products to get through. And like I said, it's my skin's a little on the sensitive side right now. So I'm gonna give that to you to try and let me know. This is uh, Mad About Skin's Impact Moisturizer. I'm all about moisturizer, so I'm gonna be keeping that. This is Jordan Samuel, the Performance Eye Gel. I just ran out of this, love it. So I'm gonna be keeping this for me personally, and I'll definitely give it a review when I do an under eye product review. So we'll keep that. 
Here's the May Love Fade Away. I have been using this. This is their pigment fighter, and I'm gonna put that in the giveaways as well so that you can give, um, give their products a try. I really like this line. May Love is a very reasonably priced line. They make quality products. So we got three May Love products in the giveaway pile. This is another Dr. Loretta product. This is their Peeling Enzymatic Resurfacing. I have not tried this before. It looks like, since it's enzymes, I'm gonna try it because that's a little bit gentler. The Ghost Democracy, this is their Ceramide Rich Replenishing, Replenishing Cream. This is a fun company that's just kind of sprung out of nowhere. And I've really been enjoying these products and Ghost Democracy has a very light gel type moisturizer that I uh, reviewed last year. Love this brand, They're kind of a hip young brand. Here is Pestle & Mortar, their Hydrate Cream. Here are two products that I'm gonna have to declutter because they are expired. This is the Il Maquillage, their Power Cream Renew, and their Power Lift Cream. I actually really like these products. Their Power Cream is just a beautiful anti-aging cream. It's got niacinamide, orchid, red algae, and it's fragrance-free. It is a nice overnight cream, but I'm pretty sure it's expired. I need to check the expiry date because the open lid jar is 12 months. I actually probably have one more month for this. So I need to put that by my bed and use that one up. This is their Power Lift Cream, the anti-aging collagen boosting, firming, plumping cream. Definitely like these. I received both of these in PR. This is a very nice morning gel type cream. Love it, nice moisturizer. And um, if you want something just light and airy, this is a great moisturizer. And I need to use, this is both also open jar, 12 months. So I have got about one more month on both of those. This is the new uh, Ghost Democracy eye cream. I haven't tried that. I do love an eye cream. I totally, since I'm like over 55, have, I'm a convert. I'm an eye cream girl now. This is the Skin Gym Eye Brightening Serum. I guess I'll put that in my under eye review, products for the under eye review. Some more Tatcha. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a Tatcha review. They sent me a little PR package. Now I don't have their newest silk product that I was kind of really excited about. So I may have to pick that up. More Derma E that I need to review for you. More Layla, the May Love, the Night Renew Cream. Um, I'll maybe try this against their Plush Cream and give you a review on the May Love products that I haven't tried yet. Here are two uh, calcium products. This is their face serum. This is the stem cell product where they're using stem cells for to help boost our skin regeneration. And I haven't tried their serums. I'm doing the hair care program. So I'll put that in the calcium review. Alpha H, this is a product that you guys recommended, and this is their Generating Glow Daily Resurfacing Serum. That sounds nice and gentle. It looks like the first few ingredients are going to be some fruit extracts, so that sounds pretty gentle. This is just a hyaluronic acid serum by Nira. If you need a hyaluronic acid serum, I'm gonna pop that into the giveaways. Some more Tatcha that I need to review for you. This is their Silky Peony. This is a Venn's Retronal. I have reviewed this. I love this and I'm out. So I'm going to be using this personally. I love the retinaldehyde by a Venn. I think I like it a little bit more than the May Love Moonlight. Not that I don't like this, but this has a little bit more of a yellow tint to it. And this is clearer. So they're both great products. And I'm going to be keeping that for me because I need to start reusing that. Biosense Peptide Eye Gel. Love Biosense products. They have a great vitamin C product that I enjoy. Another Tatcha product, this is their water cream. Peach and Lily, the glass water skin moisturizer gel. I've been wanting to review that for you for ages. Here is the L-ascorbic acid 30%. I don't think I need an L-ascorbic acid 30%, but it's ethylated. So I need to learn a little bit more about this formula before I decide to try it. But I'm currently using the Timeless and I'm curious about this product. So I'm gonna put it in the reviews to see if it's actually L-ascorbic acid, like pure form. Another Derma E product that I need to review for you. This is their eye cream. Looks like I'm due for an eye cream review. And Tightening Eye Gel by Dr. Loretta. Love this. I'm out. Love this eye gel. One of my absolute favorite eye gels so far, along with the Jordan Samuel. Those two are my favorite, and I use them under my dew eye masks. Uh, let's see. We have a Gentle Hydrating Cleanser by Dr. Loretta. I have not tried her cleanser, and I'm really low on cleansers. Another cleanser that I want to try for you guys is the Mysama Green Robust Gel Balm Cleanser. I haven't tried this one either, and then these are the only two cleansers that I have right now. So I'm going to be trying this for you. I also have a ton of 
sunscreen that just came in. Mineral sunscreen is like all the rage right now. And I've got them upstairs because I'm going to be doing a mineral sunscreen review for you. They seem to be popping out everywhere. Even drugstores have some very interesting mineral sunscreens right now. So I'm not decluttering those. Those are up for review right now. Here's another hyaluronic serum. This is by Ghost Democracy. I'm going to be putting that in my giveaways because I have tons of hyaluronic acid serum. I usually use HA after I do my germ planning routine and then put a nice dense moisturizer on after that. I don't typically use an HA serum on a daily basis. That's kind of the one, one time in my skincare routine I would use a dedicated HA. Love Ghost Democracy. If you want to give them a try, I'm going to put those in my giveaways. And this is Alba Dialba. I, I believe it's a Korean company, Japanese or Korean company. It's This is a vegan product. It's their double serum, all-in-one multi-balm. I'm going to check this out because, like I said, I need to look into some more serums. And this is another... Uh, Joanna Vargas product. This is their vitamin C wash, which sounds interesting because you wouldn't think vitamin C in a wash would really do that much for you. But I'm low on cleansers, so I'm going to check that out. And this is the Dr. Loretta Anti-Aging, their repair serum. She has two serums out, and I'm a little confused about each one. I want to do a review on these serums because I love them. If you want to put on one of her serums, she's got two. This is the repairing serum. I think it's the one I absolutely love, but it says with vitamin C. So there might have been some formulation changes. Basically, if I do nothing to my skin, wash it and put on this and then some sunscreen, sometimes that's all I do because it just makes your skin glow so beautifully. So I do like this. It doesn't have a lot of actives in it. It's super gentle, but I want to look into that more to figure out what's going on with the serum formulation. These are the Neocutis products. They just sent me three. This was from Derm Store. Derm Store sent me three of these. The Revitalizing Day Cream, their Soothing Tightening Cream, and Illuminating Tightening Eye Cream. So those are going to be in the review products. It looks like I have a lot to, a lot to review for you lovely people. All right. And again, that the Dr. Loretta Eye Tightening Gel. It looks like I had two of these. So I did not realize that. That's why it's important to declutter. You guys are going to be getting one of these. I'm going to put that in my giveaways. All right. So that's everything for what I needed to decide what I'm going to review for you and what I'm going to give away. Now in this extra bucket, because every year, if you don't know, I always do a donation to Project Beauty Share. They are an outfit out of Seattle. They do an amazing job doing giveaways for beauty products for underprivileged families. So they always need, if you have extra um, feminine uh, hygiene products, they always need that and personal hygiene products. Unfortunately, I don't get enough of that to give away, but I try to do that on my own throughout the year. So if you want a great place to donate, you do have to send it yourself. I don't know if they used to have boxes that they would send you and you could send them back for a certain fee. I'm not sure if they still do that, but I'm going to leave that information down below. And on my Instagram, if you follow me, you'll see every once in a while in my stories, I pop up you know, one of their projects that they're doing. So great outfit. And they take, have a whole list of products that they do take and they don't take. And actually they do take some partially used products. This is from Skin Jam. They are amazing. I love this brand. They sent me one of their eye patch masks, forever eye patch mask. And it also has a brow, um, a brow patch. This I'm going to be putting in the donation pile because I think it's so unique. And I'm going to be giving that away to Project Beauty Share. And this is a really nice little package. And I thought someone would really appreciate this. This is a little red carpet VIP oil mask from Skin Gym. And then just a little, uh, just a roller. And you know, sometimes it's just nice to give yourself a nice massage and you can roll the mask on. So I thought that would be a nice little gift to give away to somebody at Project Beauty Share. So I'm going to be passing that along to them. I also have some acne masks or acne patches that I'm going to be passing on to them. Now, I have a whole box of Vegamore, and they ended up sending me an extra of their Vegamore Deep Moisturizing Repair Mask. I'm going to actually put this in my giveaways. That'll probably be the last of my giveaways. And some more masks. I just think that's a nice treat to give to Project Beauty Share. So I have a bunch of masks that I'm going to be giving to Project Beauty Share. Some eye masks. And just a, one that I picked up from the drugstore. And these are actually from Omnilux that you can put on before you do your LED masking. And they always need little bags to do their giveaways in. So I always like to give um, the extra little bags that come in with my product to give away. This is the Concentrated Foot Cream by Dermatology. I've already tried this cream. I actually passed it on to my dad who seems to like it a lot. I have another product that I use. I use their Lactic Acid cream, body cream for my feet. So I appreciate that product. This is not quite as 
I don't know, resurfacing as I need for my feet. So I pass this on to my dad. This is an extra, and I think it's a great thing to pass on to Project Beauty Share. So I'm doing that. I also have a hair dryer that I'm gonna be passing on to them. Some various concealers by Il Maquillage from a project that I did. A Dr. Brandt product, a pore refining product. So just a few little makeup products. And here's another uh, May Love Glow Maker. I already have that in my giveaway over here, I believe, or maybe I don't. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to put that in my giveaway for you guys, the Glow Maker. That was the one I was going to review. That way you can try it and I can try it. I got a lot of um, May Love products for you guys to try. This is the Murad Youth Renewing Serum. I thought that would be a nice giveaway. And here's this wonderful sweet little gift that Bev at my Sama gave me. These little cl um, cloth makeup pads that you can use. And I just thought that would be just such a lovely gift. It comes with a little cleaning bag that I could give to someone. So I have the Clean Club Cloth that I love to use for makeup removal. And I just think someone would really appreciate this. I'm going to pass this on. And then they always take samples. So at the bottom of my box, I have tons of samples. So I always pass on my small samples, a hyaluronic acid serum once again. And let's see, Caffeine eye cream. I've already tried this eye cream by Inky Bliss. It's okay. So I wanted to pass that on to Project Beauty Share. It's more of a little bag they can use to do their giveaways. Just some cotton rounds that I won't be using. A little headband that's really cute. This is also from Bev at Myselma. I have so many headbands. I'm just going to pass those along. And then this is a, a neck cream, but it also is a lovely perfume. I don't wear perfume, so I'm going to pass that along. A Curology lip balm with a little bit of sunscreen in it. I thought that would be helpful for someone. More samples, more samples, more samples, more samples at the bottom here. And then last but not least, a box of the Clean Skin Club cloth uh, cotton rounds, or cotton squares, these are. So that is everything that I'm going to be giving away to Project Beauty Share, sharing with you, reviewing. Oh my gosh, there's more over here. I wanted to talk about this because I want you to help me decide. This is from, this is from Vanity Planet. And this is a hydro, a home hydrofacial machine. I thought I would give that a try, but the other one that they have, so, sorry, I had the wrong one. This Vanity Planet sent me a home hydrofacial machine. And I thought I would give this a try. I think this might be okay for mature skin, but they also sent me a dermabrasion machine. And I don't think, or home dermabrasion tool, and I honestly don't think, I'm not even going to open it. Well, actually, it is open so you can see the box. I honestly don't think this is appropriate for mature skin. And I have my questions about microdermabrasion being okay for even younger skin. I, I personally just don't subscribe to this. I've used it often in clinic when I was in um, my cosmetology training. And it just doesn't seem like something that's that beneficial for skin and especially for mature skin. So I think I'm actually going to be sending this back to the company, finding out what they would like me to do with it. Um, they wanted to send me some PR. I thought it was going to be skincare, but it's these tools. Like I said, the hydrofacial, I'm kind of neither here nor there. If you really want me to do a demo with this and try it out, I will do that for you. If you'd rather I put it in the gift pile, let me know. I can do that too. So you just let me know what you would like me to do regarding the Vanity Planet hydrofacial machine, and I will do that. A few cleansing cloths that I'm going to be donating, another mask that I'm going to be donating. Now, this is an interesting PR package. This is an LED nail kit. Now, if you've been watching, you know that I just did a dazzle dry demonstration, and I was at max, I was able to get it to last about 10 days. And that's with very diligent application. I'm hoping this LED, this green, got it upside down, sorry, this green revolution will be more long lasting. And like I said, they use LED, not UV, to cure the nail gel. So we're gonna find out about that. And I'm gonna be doing a review. Here are a couple of hair products. Living Proof sent me a bunch of stuff. This is their in shower styling gel. Not quite sure how that works, but I do have, uh, I've been using quite a few of their products and I'm going to be doing a review. You'll, they'll probably be in my empties. This is by Crown Affair. This is their Renewal Mask. So I'm going to be trying this. Now I don't have, my hair is quite healthy now that I've gone gray. So I'm going to look at the ingredients in here. This might be too heavy of a mask for my hair. So I will be debating about this. So I'm going to, this is in my products to look at. 
And then last but not least is the package from Vigamore. This is the new hair growth shampoo system, shampoo, conditioning, and treatment system that's all over YouTube these days. And they sent me all of their products to try. I will be trying that because I do suffer from hair loss. I have androgenic alopecia and I had a huge telogen effluvium event that I talked about years ago. And my goal is to maintain my hair till I'm 80 and reduce the, num the amount of shedding that I get. And I did a video fairly recently on my hair loss journey, an updated video. So I'll put that up above. So go check that out. I think that wraps up my entire declutter. I'm going to go through the products that I'm doing for the giveaway. Like I said, just jump on over to my Instagram if you see something you like. This is Maylove products. I have their Glow Maker, their Stargaze, oops, sorry about that, their Glow Maker, their Stargaze, their Moonlight, and their Fade Away Serums. Now, what I would like you to do is just choose Last time I said two products. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it to two products. Check, pick, Max, two products that you'd like me to send your way. Again, I'm going to end it by Monday morning at 8 o'clock because my life is a little crazy right now. Good crazy. I am a grandma, so I'm super excited for it to be good crazy, but it is crazy, and I just kind of have this one little time slot that I can get to the post office and mail everything. The next item is the Vigamore Hydrate. That is a deep moisture repair mask. The Ghost Democracy HA and then the Nira HA Hyaluronic Acid Serums. The Dr. Loretta Intense Eye Gel, Tightening Eye Gel. Mad About You, this is their Perfect Blend Exfoliating Gel. And the Dew Moisturizer, which is my fave from 2022. Again, Dr. Loretta's new sunscreen that just came out. I had a duplicate, so I'm sending that along to you. This is an all-mineral sunscreen. The Stock Skin Care TCA Multi-Acid Facial Peel. So I would look on their website before you requested this and find out if this is appropriate for your skin. This is glycolic and lactic together. It has glycerin and trichloroacetic acid, salicylic acid, turmeric, and this is going to be quite the peel. So make sure that you're ready for something like this before you request this as a gift. All right, that's everything except the hydrofacial, which I'm still deciding. I probably should do a review on this just to let you know whether I think it's an appropriate product for mature skin. So that is everything. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being part of Beyond 50 Skin family. And if you wouldn't mind doing a like and a subscribe, that really helps my channel. My goal this year by 2024 is to have 10,000 subscribers, which would be so cool. So if you have an opportunity to pass this video along or pass any of the videos that are your favorite along to a friend or invite a friend to join us, I would really love that. Take care, everyone, and wishing you all a skintastic day. Welcome to a massive...